My name is Glenda Ravello and I'm the production designer for Frasier. When I started, when I was like, you know, a very young um, assistant art director, all I wanted to do was work for Roy Christopher, who was the production designer for Frasier. When I was called to do the show, or at least to interview for it, I couldn't have been more excited and um, shocked. And anyway, here I am. So when you come in, you'll see that um, it's a mix of furniture. You'll see very contemporary pieces, and that's not unlike uh, the original Frasier. I think when you first walked into that apartment, it was postmodern, and now this is what is current for us, you know, 20 something years later. I did get inspired by the original apartment for sure. He had such exquisite taste in Seattle, but we're in a very old city, Boston versus Seattle. And so I think the architecture will uh, reflect that. Not bad, eh? You're renting the apartment next to mine? Renting? No, well, I bought the whole building. <laughs> What? How? With money, Frederick. Lots and lots of money. He's had tremendous success professionally, and we wanted it to reflect his style. And the man is very sophisticated. I really wanted the, the writers to be able to reference significant designers, uh, contemporary ones, and pieces that are more vintage. I found this wallpaper inspiring, and I had, this is maybe the first purchase we made for the show, because this is made by Corder Taleo in Kansas City, and each one of these panels are, is hand painted. Lilith, in her episode, she makes a reference to this. Is that Rorschach wallpaper? Yes. What do you see? I see someone trying too hard. <laughs> it's all things that um, we wanted the writers to be able to reference. These two lamps, um, we also ordered very early. They're made by an artist named Ryan Manili and one they're in Morris code and one says Frasier and the other one says Kelsey. We found pieces that we really loved the style and the design. These pillows were actually named pillows. They're um they're uh, Christian Lacroix. Don't sit there. <laughs> Those are Christian Lacroix pillows. So we can't sit on the couch. Not in jeans. <laughs> So many things are tactile and our actors really do um, come and touch things and I think a lot of these pieces, like Amy Feldman, the decorator, she also had them in mind, um, you know, down to his glasses. They're a really beautiful, simple shape, but they have some detail on them. So we wanted to show that. Um, so the actors are completely welcome to um, pull these glasses off. He's always decanting things, so we have decanters and evidence. You'll see them, you know, all over the place. Um, and I just love the idea of this Tom Dixon being mixed with like a 200-year-old French um, jar from a farm. Frazier is an entertainer. He's a wonderful home chef. So we wanted his um, kitchen to also reflect that. I made some of your famous chili. I followed the recipe to the letter, although I'm not exactly sure how much of buttload of ground beef is. <laughs> it's a beautiful kitchen. Of course, he has a pot filler, um, the antique glass um, to illuminate. You know, he, we can go in and see his beautiful stemware. And we have, you know, like beautiful pieces from John Darien uh, for color and, and texture. We wanted to show that he entertains so lots of platters. And um, those are um, from France, uh, the really thin edged white platters. And, and then we do have a full size wine refrigerator and, and it's a large one. It's not like an 18 inch one, it's full size. And again, I think that goes to his wealth, I guess, but, um, but also his passion. You know, that's something that he really cares about. May I get you a glass of wine? Yeah, sure, crack open a box. <laughs> Kidding, I don't really think you buy boxed wine. Your Steinway has its own alcove. Of course, we have a Steinway on the set and it's ready for Kelsey to play. Um, he's, very, he's a very accomplished musician. So anytime he wants to play, it's there. If you looked at um, the books, um, 
you know, he, we call out Tom Ford because it's amazing and, and he, Tom Ford is um, sitting with Caravaggio. So it shows the breadth of Frazier's uh, interest and his sophistication. The vintage Chateau Chien Blanc. Well, I'll give you two some privacy. 